Today is May 19th, 2024, and this is our weekly update on the war between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Shalom, my friends. This is the Kiva Gersh with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in 5 minutes. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. The most recent big news is the fact that uh, the IDF has found four bodies uh, so far of hostages in the Rafa region, uh, the most southern region of Gaza, which Israel entered into a couple of weeks ago after months of waiting and deliberating and preparing for such an incursion. Uh, it's the last place in the Gaza Strip that has uh, Hamas battalions uh, waiting and fighting, and Israel is actively fighting them now. And in their fighting and in their uh, searching house to house, uh, they found four bodies of hostages. Unfortunately, they're all dead. Two of them, Israel knew, um, had already been killed on October 7th. Two, it was unknown that there was a thought that they might still be alive. Unfortunately, they're not at the very least. They will now be brought to burial, uh, something very important for people in general, but especially in the Jewish tradition. Um, the ritual of burial, very, very important, and families will have some kind of relief and closure, um, at least closure of this chapter, uh, with the burial of their family members. Those um, funerals are set to begin already today here in Israel. The, uh, the fighting does continue in Rafa, um, Israel's main focus uh, in the Gaza Strip, but there are other areas of fighting around the Gaza Strip, um, some new areas even, and some areas that Israel had fought before, basically conquered, left, and unfortunately Hamas terrorists have resettled there, regrouped, um, hidden amongst the civilian population that returned to these areas. And once again, rockets are being fired at the south, uh, something that we didn't see for a very long time in this war. And Hamas has uh, regained um, its capability of, of launching rockets at Sterot and other communities along the, the Gaza border, close to Gaza. And it's absolutely um, a very intense situation for these residents who are outside of their, their homes and their communities for so many months. They've returned recently, some of them, now to be experiencing rocket fire once again. Not a simple situation. Very, very difficult. As Israel continues to fight, uh, in the Gaza Strip, they continue to uh, discover more and more tunnels. Recently, they reported that there are 50 tunnels connecting the Gaza Strip underground to Egypt, which Hamas has been using to bring in weapons to the Gaza Strip to continue the fighting there, to continue their fight. Um, also, um, some very um, disturbing news is uh, the fact that just recently, a few days ago, it was reported that Hamas has made about a billion, half a billion dollars uh, off of the humanitarian aid that has come into the Gaza Strip, both on trucks, um, dropped from the air. They have taken control of this humanitarian aid, which we have known, and they're selling it uh, to Palestinians in Gaza. And uh, they've made about a half a billion dollars so far. There are many reports coming out of the Gaza Strip that there's plenty of food there. There's just not enough money to buy it. Um, and a lot, tons and tons of this aid was just found recently, a couple of days ago, inside the terror tunnels underneath the Gaza Strip, right? So not only is Hamas stealing the food, they're hoarding the food for themselves and uh, selling it to the Gazans who, where are they gonna get money from? Uh, it's a horrendous and horrible situation uh, that's happening there. Looking at the north of Israel, the fighting there continues against Hezbollah nonstop since October 8th. More and more rockets are being fired at um, recently, um, a civilian was killed just this past week up north, and soldiers were injured as well, I should say, before I forget. Very, very important, very, very sad. There were five soldiers this past week uh, killed in the Gaza Strip um, in, a, in, a, in an incident, unfortunately, of, uh, of an accidental shooting by an, an IDF tank who did not uh, fully realize that there were IDF soldiers in the building. They had, saw, they had seen a, a barrel of, of, of a gun um, sticking out of one of the windows, mistakenly identified it as a terrorist and shot, and unfortunately killed five IDF soldiers. More were injured. Very intense and sad situation. But, uh, you know, the, the fighting inside the Gaza Strip is not a normal battlefield, so to speak. This is intense 
and uh, very densely populated urban warfare. Um, very, very difficult to fight and very difficult to, to have always the proper and the perfect and the right live communication between the different forces and units. And unfortunately, mistakes like this um, are hard to always avoid. And uh, this did happen very, very sadly. But again, looking at the north, more and more rockets are being fired at the north. Uh, there's a mountain in the north of uh, Israel called Mount uh, Meron, which is a very popular site for an annual festival called Lagba Omer, which is going to be happening in just a week. Usually about 750,000 Israelis go there for the festival. This year, the IDF and the government and the police have called off the, the, festiv uh, the festivities altogether. People will be celebrating it in their local communities, but not in Meron because Meron has been hit time and time again in recent weeks. Dozens and dozens of rockets, missiles uh, uh, shot by Hezbollah from Lebanon onto that mountain, uh, making it just impossible to secure the place and make it safe for so many people. So that, fest, uh, the, that site of the festival of the day of celebration, like Bomer, uh, has been canceled. And um, what else can we say? This is the situation here um, in Israel. We know out there still the world is burning with anti-Semitism and anti-Israel protests. Uh, people have been uh, getting attacked in different places, different cities um, around the world. Most recently in uh, Belgium, I believe it was, uh, an Israeli man who was pulling down an anti-Israel sticker was beaten by a group of 10 men. Uh, with his job broken as a result. It's not simple. It's very intense. Uh, but still, Israel does have its friends out there, its non-Jewish friends, and we're so appreciative of them. And we thank all of you, Jewish, non-Jewish alike, for your continued prayers and your continued support for Israel. Israel will win this war. It's taking a while. We knew it would take a while. Uh, fighting Hamas um, in the densely populated um, urban uh, landscape of the Gaza Strip and Hezbollah in the north um, who just constantly without stop shooting rockets at Israel. Of course we are, are, are defending ourselves and fighting back but um, the, the end of this war I wouldn't, I wouldn't say is in sight it's continuing, we're hoping for the best and again appreciate all of your prayers and all of your support. All the best and be well.